Hey guys, round two trying to record this video. I uh, just got done fixing this problem and realized at the end of it that I had my microphone on mute and so all of the explanation I was giving uh, didn't end up in the video. So let's try this again. Um, today we're going to be showing you guys how to fix error SU30645-8. Um, this error occurs when you're trying to update the software on your PlayStation um, and the file somehow gets corrupted. Uh, on the path between Sony servers and your PlayStation, the file gets scrambled and can't be used. So we're going to show you the quick and easy way to fix it. This works for most people. If this method doesn't work for you, there are other methods. They just take a little bit more time. And so we will uh, create some videos about that and post those. Check the description of this video. Um, let, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into your PlayStation. Uh, come up here to your notifications tab. And here under notifications, it will show you all the different apps that you update, uh, or install updates for those apps, that type of thing. Towards the top, you should see something, a notification that says um, system software update has been downloaded, it's ready to install, something like that. It will look similar to this, um, where the thumbnail has the PlayStation button symbols. Um, what you're going to want to do is find that, go ahead and press triangle to select it for deletion, and then go ahead and click X to delete it. When you do that, it's going to prompt you and say, hey, this file hasn't been installed to your PlayStation yet. Are you sure you want to delete it? Go ahead and select yes. You want to make sure that that corrupted update file is deleted and off your system. And then what we want to do is scroll over to settings, come down to system software update, and just let the system do its thing. Now for me, it's telling me that the latest version is already updated because I just did it. Um, for you, it will probably let you know, hey, the, the newest version is ready to be downloaded and installed. You go ahead and click OK and just follow the prompts. It should download and install the update file and you're golden, uh, ready to go. Like I say, pretty simple fix for this issue, which is nice. If this video doesn't help you, let me know in the comments section and check the description of the video for some of the alternative methods. Um, we can do that using safe mode or using a USB drive. So we'll show you a step-by-step -step guide for that. Appreciate the support for the channel, guys. It's been awesome. Let me know if there's any other errors you're running into that you'd like me to make a video on how to fix. We'd love to get you guys back online. Appreciate you watching and have a wonderful day.